In this segment, we're going to talk about uh, relative uh, true errors. And let's go on first to see why we need to study relative true errors. Uh, let's recall the example that uh, we were asked to take the function 70 to the power 0.5x. We're asked to find out f prime of 2 is by using uh, approximate formulas uh, for the derivative of the function being given as follows. And in this case, uh, we use delta x equal to 0 0.3. So if you take uh, this function, you want to find the derivative of the function at 2. And this is the approximate formula which you're using for calculating that derivative. And choosing a delta x equal to 0 0.3, this is what we obtain for f prime of 2. We obtain f prime of 2 to be 10.265. And that was the approximate value. So I should put this to be approximate. And I got f prime of 2 to be exactly equal to 9.5140, up to 5 significant digits, of course. And that turned out to be the exact value, 9.5140. So in this case, the true error which we obtained was the difference between the two is 0 0.75061. That's the difference between the exact value and the approximate value. Uh, now, let's go and take another example, which, which is a similar one. Now, somebody might say, hey, if you had the function to be uh, 7 times 10 to the power minus 6 e to the power 0 0.5x. This function is very similar uh, to what we had earlier. The only thing is that we have 10 to the power minus 6 being multiplied here. And somebody told you, go ahead and calculate f prime of 2 by using the same approximate formula use the same value delta x, which is 0 0.3. What you're going to get is you're going to get f prime of 2 uh, to be approximately equal to 10.265 times 10 to the power minus 6. That's the approximate value which you're going to get. The reason why you're going to get uh, uh, this is because we got 10.265 and we didn't have 10 to the power minus 6 in the function, but now we have 10 to the power minus 6, so it's just going to be multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6. If you want to convince yourself that's what you're going to get, go ahead and do this as a homework problem. And again, uh, the exact value of the derivative of the function will turn out to be 9.5140 times 10 to the power minus 6. And that will be the exact value. And if I was going to calculate what the true error is associated with the, the exact value and the approximate value, I'll get minus 0 0.75061 times 10 to the power minus 6. So what I'm trying to drive here is that for this particular function here and trying to find the derivative at 2, we get a true error which looks very small because you have 10 to the power minus 6 here. So let me take you to this um, uh, one here, which was the previous example which we took. Here's the previous example which we took on this side of the board. And what we find out there, that the true error which we get is minus is 0 0.75061. So it is different, uh, it's 10 to the power minus 6 bigger than what we got uh, in the other, other example. So it's the same example, you're getting uh, a reasonable amount of true error here. In the other one, you're getting 10 to the power minus 6. So it might give you a false impression that in one case the true error is small, in the other case the true error is large. So that's why we need to define something called uh, the relative true error. So the relative true error is denoted by epsilon t. Epsilon stands for relative error, and t stands for true. So epsilon t is defined as uh, uh, true error. Uh, divided by exact value. So if you look at the first example which we have there, where we know what the true error is and what the exact value is, which we just showed. So if you look at the first case uh, for f of x equal to 7 e to the power uh, 0 0.5x, calculate f prime of 2, 
uh, for delta x equal to 0 0.3, uh, we obtained uh, the true error to be minus 0 0.75061. We obtained the true value, that's the exact value, uh, to be 9.5140. So based on that, if I want to calculate what the true error is, is simply minus 0 0.75061 uh, divided by 9.5140. It's not multiplied by anything. So this uh, true error turns out to be equal to minus 0 0.078895. Sometimes uh, the relative true error might be defined as a percentage. So in that case, so you just multiply it by 100, you say minus 7.8895. Uh, percent here. So it doesn't matter whether they ask you as a fraction or a percentage, so you can always denote it in both ways. If you want to calculate the relative true error, uh, the absolute relative true error, then you just take the absolute value of these numbers, so it will be uh, 0 0.078895 or 7.8895 uh, percent. If you look at the other example now, which we had, uh, same thing there also. If we took to the example of fx being 7 times 10 to the power minus 6, e to the power 0.5x, you calculate f prime of 2 with the approximation, and you choose delta x equal to 0 0.3. In this case also, your relative true error is going to turn out to be minus 0 0.07. 8895. So exactly the same amount of related true error you're going to get for this case. So I would like you to do this as homework. And what you're finding out is that relative true error is a better measure of finding out how bad your error is, as opposed to just looking at the value of the true error. And that's why we need to define relative errors. And that's the end of uh, this segment.